I have to start finding these Horcruxes. And the longer we stay here, the stronger he gets. Seven. Seven. They could be hidden anywhere, couldn't they? Rip the soul into seven pieces. Okay. And I will be dead long before you read this. I have stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it. Each Horcrux contains a part of Voldemort's soul, and therefore it has to be destroyed. Um, in order for Voldemort to die. And he's hidden these seven pieces of his soul in different objects that are related to his past and related to him and who he is. And so Harry, Hermione and Ron have to find the Horcruxes and destroy them one by one. Dumbledore sends you off to find all these Horcruxes, but doesn't tell you how to destroy them. Doesn't that bother you? Well, Harry's in this difficult position where he has to go and find these Horcruxes and destroy them, but he doesn't really have a clear idea of how to do that because Dumbledore didn't leave enough information with him. The Horcruxes can be anything, so it's a really hard job trying to do a lot of investigating. Preacher! It's Master Regulus's locket. But there were two, weren't there? Where's the other one? Creatures, no. It's quite a daunting task. Harry's already destroyed the diary. Ginny Weasley's diary had a piece of his soul in it. So that one's gone. Dumbledore destroyed the ring, so that's two. Uh, we're doing a scene where Harry and Hermione are taking it in turns to try and destroy the Horcrux. Descendium. Incendium. Sporto. Reduction. And it's proving very, very difficult. They have nothing with which to destroy them. So they have no idea what to do with them when they find them. I'm doing everything I can. You're not doing enough! For the first part of this journey, they're carrying one of the Horcruxes, and the Horcrux acts on them. Whoever's wearing the Horcrux has a sort of dark edge, a dark feeling. Don't expect me to be grateful just because now there's another damn thing we've got to find. The effect it has if somebody wears it around their neck for too long is that they become paranoid. I saw you two the other night. Angry. Where's my wand, Harry? I'm I don't know. Harry Potter, you give me my I don't wand! Have it and rather horrible, kind of, generally. You think I don't know how this feels? You don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead! Stop! Stop! There's this kind of big fight scene. Ron and Harry both explode, and yeah, that was, that was quite a fun scene to do, really. It was quite nice to, uh, to have that kind of intense argument with Dan. In case you haven't noticed, we have found a Horcrux already. Yeah, and we're about as close to getting rid of it as we are to finding the rest of them, aren't we? It's one of those moments when the stress that everybody is under just gets completely on top of everyone and then the whole thing can fall apart. Harry Potter, you really don't stand a 